Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 20th to the 26th of January 2020 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Taurus. So I'm just pulling an overarching tarot card to see what the message is for you. So Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for Taurus please? Too many there. Message for Taurus please, thank you. What do we have for Taurus? There's two cards here. We have the Ten of Coins. Wow, and the King of Coins. Taurus, that's your energy. King of Coins is Taurus. Somebody who understands his capability to, you know, achieve goals. Certainly in terms of money, career, potential understanding how to achieve the potential of your practical capabilities certainly in terms of money and career now this could also be an opportunity being offered to you in money and career as well you see the amount of gold here i feel for some of you taurus ten of pentacles can be the money card there is success coming certainly in terms of money and career for those of you job hunting, for those of you looking for a promotion, uh, a bonus, more money, um, a new job, uh, and you know whatever this is, this is somebody who is fully aware of how to use their own capabilities to advance themselves in money and career. They understand their value. They understand their worth. And it might well be, Taurus, that this might be a turning point for some of you. You might be suddenly realizing your worth. Now, there is solidity here in relationships as well. This can be a, sim a sign of relationships that can go the distance. I'm really feeling these two cards together, very much in terms of money, um, but money and career in particular, but yeah. This is beautiful. This is goal achievement. The ten is, ten of coins is, is almost goal achievement, and the king. The kings in tarot are all about achievers, so this is about achieving, Taurus. Hard work. There is focus, there is hard work, there is doing a lot of practical work here. But there's achievement here. Okay, what is the energy for the week for Taurus, please? What is the energy for the week, Angel Spirits Guides for Taurus? victory well we certainly have success here um, there's a victory in sight overcoming a challenge maybe coming through the other side of something there's achievement here it's also teaching you your potential whatever you've been challenged with it's taught you your own potential yeah what you're capable of Okay, angels, what is the message for Taurus? What does Taurus need to hear, please? 20th to the 26th of January 2020. Thank you. Thank you. Success. <laughs> you know... There is success here. There's achievement here. The hard work is delivering success. It is about focusing. Doing the practical things that you need to do now because there is success in sight. Beautiful Taurus, you see? Everything's singing off the same hymn sheet here. Hy did I say hymn sheet? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So I'm using my Marchetti Dex Taurus. This is the Tarot of Dreams. So first card is your past position. Then we look at your present, your challenge, advice from spirit and outcome. What do we have for Taurus please? Past position. Past position for Taurus please. Angel Spirits Guides.
We have the Ten of Swords, Taurus. Okay, present position for Taurus. Nine of Wands. Your challenge, Seven of Cups. Advice from Spirit, Seven of Swords. And your outcome, Taurus. Death. This is beautiful. This is the Phoenix Rising card, in a way, Taurus. Okay. Just checking I've got the cards the right way up. Let's get clarifiers for the cards on the table for Taurus, please. Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Taurus, please? 20th to the 26th of January 2020 for Taurus, please. Thank you. Message for Taurus. First card, past position. Clarifying the Ten of Swords. Okay, we have the Empress, L I love this combination, beautiful. Okay, the Nine of Wands in the present position, Taurus, is clarified with the Eight of Coins. This is perfect. The Seven of Cups in your challenge, Taurus. Clarified by the Ten of Coins. <laughs> you know, you've got two Tens of Coins now. I'm going to pull one more for your challenge. Two of Cups. The Seven of Swords. Advice from Spirit. It's the Ace of Swords. Wow. And Death. Clarified by the Five of Pentacles, yeah. Makes sense. Bottom of the deck, Taurus, is the Ace of Wands. Yeah. There are new beginnings here. You know, we have, I think it's, I can see three cards with new beginnings here. And they have potential. Your past position, we start with the Ten of Swords. This is a card of whatever's hurt you in the past, whatever's wounded you in the past, whatever's flawed you in the past, disappointed you, people's actions, what people say, all of this kind of energy. There's a 10. There's an ending here. It is putting an end to this situation, bringing it to a close in order to step into the new now. That is the message of the Ten of Swords. This would have been tough energy. It, was, it is dark night of the soul, but you're conquering it. There's victory here again. You have victory here. You have victory here. You're conquering it. Because for some of you, the Empress is saying, now is the time to embrace the new. Now is the time to go create. Show the world what you're made of in a way. You know, the Empress surrounds herself by real abundance. Um... She is somebody who understands how to how to use her capabilities uh, to bring real uh, to create her paradise on earth. She is Mother Earth in a way, and she represents the birth of something new. For some of you, it could be new jobs, new careers, new business ventures, um, new investment for business advent business ventures or adventures, whatever way you want to look at it. <laughs> Um, can be new love as well. She is a card of Venus in Taurus. Venus is asking you, Taurus, that's, you know, you are ruled by Venus, to reach your potential. This is a time to manifest. It is a time to use your own abilities now to really bring positive change and the beginnings of change, the beginnings of manifesting something in your life, changing something for the better. Um, and there is the law of attraction here. Uh, certainly with the Empress, like the Pentacles energy, she is very much connected to the law of attraction. What you put out to the universe is what you get back. 
And now is the time to use the skills that you have to create the new, to embrace the new, um, because it is time. She is a three. Three is a magical number in tarot. It is the beginnings of manifestation. Uh, it's the beginnings of creation. She represents creation, co-creator. She is the co-creator of her life, and she asks you to be the same, obviously in line with the universe as well. Nine of Wands, it's not a time for giving up, you've come so far. This is somebody who has followed their passions, put in the effort. They're the wounded warrior, they're tired, and yet there's the last step. They're so close to achieving, and now they're doubting their selves. They're doubting their conviction. They're tired, they're fed up, they want to give up. Um, they're not in the right mindset, all of this kind of energy. You know, their passion is spent. And this is a time for refocusing. You know, this is where you need to align from within without, you know, it's the card of the sun in Virgo, you know, very much linked to the hermit energy. You know, you need to do something that, this is about the hard work, it will be hard work, but it is going to pay off because the eights in tarot is positive change. So keep going. There's a message of perseverance here. And really draw strength from within. Draw on your inner conviction from within. Stay focused from within and in your external environment in what you're working towards now. Because it's leading to greater monetary success, greater stability, security, greater self-esteem, self-worth as well for you, Taurus. So it's a beautiful energy here. The Seven of Cups can be about your hopes, dreams and wishes and making intuitive choices in order to bring them to fruition. It is very much like the Empress energy, the Empress in Scorpio actually, Venus in Scorpio. Um, this is all about fulfilling the promise. Fulfilling the promise, fulfilling your hopes, dreams and wishes or at least one of them, what you want to work towards now, making it real. Um, and you, some of you might well get, you know, this is about, uh, sometimes I see this, the two of cups as reconnecting to who you are. Sometimes this can, this can be an offer, or an opportunity that you really want, you know, that brings you emotional happiness. Can be in business, can be in love, can, can be in love as well. Um, I just think this is some kind of offer and opportunity for some of you because it can potentially lead to this, the ten of cups. I feel you're being told to fulfill your hopes, dreams and wishes, reconnect to who you are, Taurus. You know, this is, this is Venus, your ruler. Uh, reconnect to who you are in order to trust your instincts to make choices, decisions now that lead to the Ten of Pentacles. This can be coming back to you. I feel this is very strongly for some of you, or there could be some opportunity that you're offered, that, that you really want, um, that is part of your hopes, dreams and wishes. There could be some kind of opportunity that will bring you the Ten of Coins. But it is trusting your intuition now. You know, like I said in this reading, it is from within, without. You know, this person does something that they enjoy. And if they enjoy it from within, they are really successful in their external environment. You know, because what they enjoy, they're good at. I feel this is an opportunity that you're connected to, that links with where you want to be now. And that is your challenge, to make it happen, to make it real. Advice from Spirit is where you might have been holding yourself back, where you might have been self-sabotaging. Seven of Swords can be self-sabotage. I mean, we all do it from time to time. Sometimes it can be little things, little excuses that we do, Taurus. Sometimes it can just be, you know, avoidance, all of this kind of energy, putting things off. Ace of Swords is a card of victory. It is victory over this kind of energy. It's also a victory over what's gone. Ten of Swords. Because where there's an ending, there is a new beginning with the same energy here, air energy. And air energy is clarity, truth. Could be truths coming to light, the truth being on your side. 
decisive uh, decisive action, taking decisions, uh, raise a sharp clarity now in terms of your path, where you're going, um, getting a bigger perspective on a situation, realization, all of this kind of energy. But this is the card of victory that is given to you by God, the divine, the universe, as portrayed by the eagle. Um, it is asking you to get a high perspective on your situation now. Move above whatever this energy is. This could be some negative thinking here. And really get perspective. Uh, because there is a new beginning here that's coming your way. I think it could be linked to some kind of opportunity that you might be offered. Something that is just, you know, promising abundance, material success in particular, career success. Really where you, where you want to get to now. Hopes, dreams and wishes. Where you want to be. You have to let go of, again, this can be a, a negative approach to a situation. And I'm not saying that you are, Taurus. You know, you know, we all do this from time to time. This can be a card of begrudging other people that are fine and you're not. You've been through a difficult time. Other people seem to get away with everything. Could be in the workplace. You know, all of this kind of energy because this can be in terms of money and career. This is a card of struggling, financial struggle. And for some of you, it can be to do with your own value, you, you, where you're finding yourself at the moment, all of this kind of energy feels lack. And the Empress, at the beginning of your reading, is saying you lack for nothing. But it is about applying yourself. When you apply yourself, you bring positive change to your life. You can bring your hopes, dreams and wishes to reality, what you really want now. You need to move away from whatever this negative thinking is because this the, the pentacles energy is very much linked to the law of attraction for me as a reader. What you put out to the universe is what you get back. So if you feel negativity, if you vocalize it, that's what you get, more of it back. This person, you know, like the Ace of Swords, this person could go in and seek shelter, get food from the church, but they don't even see it because they're so focused on their emptiness here on what's lacking that they don't see the bigger picture and there's a real message from spirit and now is the time to see truth get perspective and make decisions on that on that basis um, in order to move forward to that new beginning fresh perspectives even and death is the phoenix rising for some of you it will be the come it's like a comeback um shedding an old skin you know, you see the snake here. Um, I, I do feel for some of you it is shedding an old skin, old ways of thinking, negative ways of thinking, old baggage, old experiences that cut deep, all of this energy. It is just shedding it all in order to rise in your true light now. This is very much a rebirth energy and that's why it's the phoenix rising. Because you rise in your true light because you've understood the lessons in a way of what the old experiences were teaching you and the phoenix rises from its own destruction um, turning something very negative into something very beautiful and positive and this is where things are turning around for you there's a big turning point here uh, very much a, much a comeback energy but rising in your own light now in your own truth um, so it's a very powerful card this is about let endings be ending put an end to what this is in order to embrace the new and the Ace of Wands is potential, your potential. You know, I almost feel like you're being told to see, get perspective, get clarity on your potential now. Because all this negative thinking, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, it just, you know, your doubts here, the confusion with the Seven of Cups because you're not thinking clearly. Um, it is stopping you from reaching your potential and this is all about a new beginning full of potential Now, this can be opportunity certainly in terms of money and career to do with your passion something that you're passionate about passionate about now is the time to take decisive action towards that get perspective have a game plan take the first step towards this now take action towards the new and release the old draw a line under the old let it go away let it die and um, that is death uh, in order to be reborn in something far more fulfilling more 
with greater potential uh, to grow and bring success long term. That is the Ace of Wands. Uh, it can be an opportunity, Taurus, as well. So, very powerful reading. You have some new beginning cards here. You have opportunities here. Yeah, and I do feel you are being given blessings, magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. You know, this is about understanding your own capability. You know, you are the king of, king of coins. This is you. This is Taurus energy. He's a king. He's an achiever. And yet, for some of you, you're feeling like this. It's time to put an end to it. In order to embrace your potential. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.